<laughs> Folks, welcome aboard. It's Christmas Eve. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. All that happy shit. Yep, we are here. Uh, this is the Cacophony crew. However, they are not going to be in Cacophony because they ain't going to be in Cacophony anymore. They have gone to the country of Telosia as soon as they get out of Cathaway. Uh, but tonight... Nice. It's a uh, Christmas Eve special. We're going to do a holiday theme scenario. Uh, <laughs> oh, she just mixed up your blocking. <laughs> Caitlin, I swear to God, I'll kill your fucking character. Right <laughs> uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit with us, join our Discord channel. If you want to buy cool stuff like this, cool iPhone phone case. Uh, cool. You can do that in our shop, tinyurl.com slash RPG swag. Uh, most importantly, if you want to join us on a one shot or on the talk show on Tuesdays, M Hobo Inc., uh, Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. We will get you on there. As I said, tonight is a holiday themed adventure. These three will be playing one shot characters that they have never played before. Let's go ahead and introduce the cast and then we'll go ahead and get to the game. But first, thank you, Pirate Dog Dice, for Dice that uh, have been serving me well. I appreciate that. <laughs> of course, oddfishgames.com. If your game stinks, go to their Adventure Sense, pick up something cool like Rowdy Tavern or Elven Forest. Don't get putrid sewers unless you really hate your players. Uh, or if you're interested in starting to write uh, for a living, uh, try their Shine system. It's very good, and they plan on several expansions as well. Uh, Kyle's a massive favorite of it. Uh, mm -hmm. Folks, let's introduce you to the cast and who they are playing. Caitlin, who, is, who are you and who is your character, Dojour? All right, I'm totally going to butcher how to pronounce the race, but that's all right. <laughs> I am Prancer Rain Deer, like uh, raining over someone. <laughs> oh, Lord. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a, what's it, Janazi? Yep, you got it yep, right. You got it right. Um, air Grave Cleric. Nice. <laughs> okay. Nicely done. Uh, two worlds. Nice. You'll be fine, especially be fine. in the cold. I'm sure the air genazi is going to be great in the cold weather. Actually, David, yeah. <laughs> you're up next. Who are you? Who are you playing? Hi, I'm David, and I'm on our Thursday show, Cacophony. Good. And hey, sorry, <laughs> sorry, I'm yelling at her. <laughs> I'm on our Thursday show, Cacophony, and sometimes on our Tuesday show, Between the Rolls. Uh, sometimes. I usually <laughs> but I, I volunteer a lot, man. I do. I have no life. So <laughs> he, he, th he thinks he's a scrub, folks. He, he's here constantly. Right? Uh, I'm humble. And thanks. So <laughs> yeah. take his place, please. Keep going, David. <laughs> anyway, I usually play Zadar on Cacophony. Tonight I'll be playing Bad Billy Piper. He's a satyr bard, specializes in the bagpipes. So this should be interesting. <laughs> uh, don't forget to change your name on your oh, screen. Yeah, that's right. Uh, last but certainly not least, our producer normally behind the screen. Tonight she is behind and in front of the screen pulling double duty. Carrie, Carrie, who are you? Who are you playing? Uh, my name's Carrie, and usually I do the producing. This lovely man next to me is my husband, and he did so good on my Christmas presents. Yay. Um, so <laughs> today I'm playing Dame Cilia a human and a third level paladin very nice all three of you get to heal people uh before we begin uh dame cilia why don't you go ahead and show us uh one or both of your miniatures I don't done know. by at muses underscore see it very uh, well lower it just a you bit. Gotta, like, there you go behind it yeah it that is of course the Eunice monk slayer Infamous statue in Cacophony, uh, and that is poor Mittens uh, licking itself right next to her. Licking his butt. That's right. <laughs> that, that was done by Carol, a.k.a. And, at Muses underscore touch. And then the next one is my necromancer. There you go. Aw, that is awesome. Cute. <laughs> Good no job, worries. Carol. We know you're listening or will be listening, so thank you very much. <laughs> if you saw the intro screen, these guys are in the Great White North, eh? Uh, and they have beaten the incoming storm and have found the Dreidel Tavern, where they are warming their buttocks 
and waiting for food. After getting heaping piles of food uh, and belching loudly because it is classy that way, uh, nice. a man bursts in and screams, we have a problem because... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, it's Murder Hobo Inc. Uh, you three uh, sip the last of your spiced ale and listen to the man's tale as he talks to most of the citizens. You gather from the information and the murmuring that this is, guy is some kind of head honcho, governor, mayor, uh, something of something. Uh, and his name is Mayor Kwanzaa of ornament because we're trying to get all yeah, trying to get them be inclusive. <laughs> uh, we're we're very inclusive because we just don't care who you are. <laughs> we'll hate you all. That's we'll right. Keep, we'll, hate we'll kill you all the same. That's right. So. Caitlin will beat the shit out of each and every one of you. <laughs> uh, he explains that apparently. Uh, giver of gifts, a philanthropist, if you will, an elf uh, has gone down in Navidad Pass, uh, which is a canyon just to the north of the town of Ornament. Uh, the town's people groan because they've gotten used to this philanthropist coming in once a year, delivering them with freebies of all kinds, maybe even pirate dog dice uh you just aren't sure uh murmuring goes through the crowd and mayor kwanzaa notices you three being of hearty stock and adventuring ilk and he comes over to talk to you he is going to say hey how you guys doing how's your day going uh, it is going great on this chilly night, and we're here in this in this tavern, just drinking it up. That's right. I stripped off my boots, and my toes are wiggling in front of the fire. It's I awesome. just got I just got finished with a bagpipe rendition of the dreidel song. So yeah, we're doing good. <laughs> dreidel, dreidel, dreidel on the bagpipes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, Prancer, do you have anything you want to say to uh, Mayor Kwanzaa? Uh, just like your name is so insulting to my kind. <laughs> <laughs> and that ends the. And we're off. <laughs> uh, well, I'm very sorry that I have offended you, creature of the air. <laughs> uh, however, uh, I was wondering if you three are adventurers. Um,. Yes. I was wondering if you might be able to help us out. A friend of ours is uh, crashed his aerial vehicle uh, into Navidad Pass, and we are concerned about him, and we we're wondering if you could go check on him. Hey, it sounds sounds doable. Hey, yeah. we're in we're in the spirit, so yeah. yeah. I I can offer you five hundred gold pieces and this potion of healing. And our spirits all just, just even went up. That's right. <laughs> all are you are you gonna haggle there, Prancer? No, just saying. You just, only have one potion of healing. We got a lot of people for healing. How how dangerous is this? Shouldn't be dangerous at all. Nobody goes in that pass. There should be nothing down there but snow. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. Why not? Uh, he goes ahead and does a rough sketch of what this looks like. Uh, he points out that there is a dormant <laughs> volcano called Mount Cain in the center of a split where the pass crisscrosses over. Uh, he points out that their benefactor usually comes from this region. He is an elf named Claus, and he is an artificer. Claus as in... Not an elf. They're the worst. Clause is in pause. <laughs> uh, there's always a clause. There's in. always a clause. <laughs> uh, they do not know exactly He's where the individual comes from. He's an elf. Oh, okay. I was just say, yeah. Carol, it's okay. He's not a tabaxi. Yeah, he's not a tabaxi, so you can help him. Uh, but they know that the philanthropist comes from the north, uh, and he would have been headed towards ornament. Uh, he cannot give a crash location. He only had a limited amount of characters in his text that he sent me uh, <laughs> as he flew over Navidad Pass, but he was 
A, under his hack, and B, uh, ditching his craft. So Under attack from what? I thought you said there was nothing bad here. Well, he was in the air, so... Mm. Oh, man, the air's bad? Is that air, what you're air's bad, that's what I'm saying. Because <laughs> <laughs> I hate air genasi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, the air up there, huh? But, All yeah, right. they're, uh, you know, they're, to the best of my knowledge... Uh, Mayor Kwanzaa says uh, he doesn't think there's anything in the gorge. We just don't go down there because, you know, we're in the Great White North, eh? Yeah, nothing bad ever happens out there. there. (laughs) The only thing we'll find is Deadpool and Chris painting minis. Nice. (laughs) All right. Well, I guess uh, do we have transport to get there? Oh, no. There's nothing. A sled, there, there, a sleigh, nothing. Nothing there. Yeah, that's that's not going to help you. Uh, he will point out that if you go to right about here, uh, there are two posts uh, with a rope netting that will lead you down. Uh, every once in a while, we get miners and they go down in there uh, and poke around. Like underage people. Yes, miners, not miners. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I guess let's do this. All right. I I <laughs> I get a to go order of the hot mold wine. <laughs> and yeah, we're ready to go. Okay. I got one drinker, mm-hmm. uh, Dame and Prancer. How about you? Uh I like the stuff of the white powder variety. Okay. All right. <laughs> How else do you think I keep a pep in my step? Uh, you're going north. You ain't going south. The <laughs> poppy doesn't grow well in Navidad Pass. <laughs> I'd oh. like some. Anybody got uh, donuts? Uh, you can check at the constable's location. Okay. He's also see a if... part-time baker. Let's see I if think, they have any yeah. chocolate donuts. Is, it, is his name Tom, by any way? Tom Horton, I believe? Nice. <laughs> Nobody has excellent hearing. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can go Tim a few Horton. buildings Sorry. over. Yeah, Tim Horton or uh, Face, yeah, North Face. Yeah, uh, you can go a couple buildings over and see if the local constable has cooked any pastries. Sure, I want some sure. extra stuff in my pouch. Oh, this thing's already a shit show. It is. Uh, <laughs> you go over uh, D12 against me. Well, hey, at least we agreed to go. You, you know, this is how we're going to spend spend the whole episode going around the time. Well, I'm pretty sure Caitlin was ready to say fuck off. So. Nine. <laughs> Seven. Uh, Horton, with his excellent hearing, is present. <laughs> and he happens to be cooking some delicious pastries in blisteringly hot oil he's got a let's see how many he has uh he's only eaten one so he's got uh 11 donuts ready to go and they're excellent donuts they're covered in chocolate and covered in tasty sprinkles the best kinds of donuts (laughs) all right Uh, oi can i help you yeah we're going down to rescue uh elf claws (laughs) Oh. oh no, Claus is hurt. He's down. Claus is down. Oh, oh man. Yeah, well, sorry. you know what? I'll give you guys uh, free donuts. How oh. many would you like? Uh, How many you got? <laughs> eleven. What are you willing to part we'll, we'll with? We'll take them. <laughs> I'll, I, you can have eleven if you're going to go rescue Claus because uh, he's uh, bringing me a mail order bride. Oh, awesome. Oh, okay. Sp- special month for me. Nice. Yeah, we'll take him because you never know what's going to happen down there. That's true. Well, you know, beware. There is an ice creature down there. What? What? Eh, he doesn't come out very often. Only yeah, the storms. Yeah, the mayor well, we've neglected been told that there's to tell nothing us that. Down here. <laughs> yeah, for the most part, there's nothing down there. Oh, great. Great. Well, thanks ice for the information creatures. and the donuts. Boy, you're welcome. Hey, <laughs> be careful, eh? Hey. Hey. Uh, did you want to borrow my sled? Yes. Yes. It was my daughter's, but she moved on. Her name was Radio Flyer. Oh, okay. And we okay. were told there weren't any sleds available either. Well, there aren't. This is mine. Oh, man. We need I expect it. you to bring it back in well, of course. one piece. Okay. 
Of course. Okay. Of course we will. <laughs> well, Oi, here's your donuts. Uh, he throws them to you in a burlap sack. Awesome. Oi. Because burlap holds sprinkled donuts really well. Really well. <laughs> uh, best of luck. Uh, make sure that uh, he's got my mail order bride. Okay. She comes from further north and further east. Are there candy oh. canes, though? Are there what? Candy canes. D12 against me. <laughs> Is this mail order bride inflatable? No. Oh. 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 <gasps> Seven? Uh, Ty, I'll give Yell you tie. it. I, I feel in the Christmas spirit. Sure, he's got a couple candy canes. Okay. Hey, he candy has red, cane. blue, and black. Mm. Can I take one of each? Sure. All right. Hey, if, if you're going to go rescue Claus and his mail order bride, he'll damn near give you the shirt off his back. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, then, in that case, I'm just kidding. Gonna... He's a portly man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> a pierced nipple. <laughs> Just one. Yes, because it Just got one. infected. Oh. And... <laughs> oh. All right. Enough of this. We gotta get going. As as you leave the constable's house, <laughs> uh, you notice that the snow's starting to pick up. <laughs> Fucking shocker. Nice. Uh, you move through ankle deep snow to uh, the area shown on the uh, on the map as a heart, uh, and you find two posts as the wind is swooshing snow up and out of the canyon. As you look out into the darkness, you can see the depression down there, uh, and you see it's going to get dark quick. Uh, but the wind is going to prevent any of you from using a torch. Do any of you have magical illumination by chance? Uh, actually, I do, because I took the liberty of providing one. I have a rapier. I take it out, and it's uh, moon-touched. So there's light emanating from the from that. What? That's all it does. <laughs> so it's like a pseudo-magic item? Yeah, it's like a pseudo-magic okay. item. Yeah. Uh, what's the radius on that? Uh, the radius on the moon-touch, it's probably uh blah, 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 blah. in darkness 15 feet 15 <laughs> foot radius uh the blinding snow is going to start to pick up but you guys should be able to stay close to each other and have a 15 foot globe of illumination as you reach the edge there is no fencing here it's kind of like the grand canyon but there are two posts with a wrapped up woolen net uh it appears as though you may kick the net over the precipice and climb down a la military style if you'd like okay Are we the drop the sleigh is you can throw the sleigh over it's only about 25 feet is it gonna break might mm. hmm you can always send somebody down and they can catch it <laughs> <laughs> yeah because that that always works out uh you know i can create one of these i am a creation bard so, say so, I mean, all I need is a minute. Play a little tune on the bagpipes, and hey, I away we go. Imagination, and it's there. Why did That's you waste exactly. so much fucking time getting a sled? <laughs> exactly. We didn't know he was going to offer one. But wow. we got the donuts. That's, That's what. That's the important part. That's the important yeah, part. All right, just... if Claus is hurt, those donuts might save his life. We got but help, here's yeah. the caveat. The sled only lasts for two hours, but I can always cast it again. So two hours. Yeah, yeah let's two hours. Sled up here and just go down. Okay. So you stole the constable's sled and you're just we gonna didn't leave steal it. Steal it. He <laughs> offered it to us. We'll take it back. Well, it's better than dropping it down breaking <laughs> off it. the ledge and, <laughs> and destroying it. Because I know you would have done that. Maybe it's and all how would the we dice. have gotten it back up. Yeah, that's the other thing. You know, Strap at this level, I don't, I don't think we have levitation. <laughs> so. So, uh, are you creating the sled? Uh, actually, yeah, and I'm creating a, a bigger one, like one we can sit in comfortably. <laughs> well, we have to get down the thing first. Oh, yeah, we have to Damn get it! <laughs> yeah, the thing can't fly. <laughs> I don't have that spell yet. Uh, who wants to kick the netting down and go down first? Uh, I, I will. Lift the, oh, 
Oh, the paladin. Oh, of course. Name Celia. Uh, you kick the <laughs> netting over and start to climb down. Give me a DC 13 versus Dex or take a fall. 18. Uh, you scamper down because this is pretty much like your prior military training. Who wants to go down second? I will. Oh. Uh, uh, no, I defer. I, I defer. Go ahead, so, Prancer. Prancer. DC 13 go. versus Dex. All right. Dun, 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 dun. 15. Scampers down as well. The air genasi just moves along the currents like a feather, like a box of chocolates. Uh, Billy, bad Billy Piper, you are last. Okay. Are we doing Dex checks for this or should yep. we? Okay. All right. None of that acrobatics bullshit, Kyle. Straight up dead. <laughs> All right, 21. Yep, you make it down. All right. All three of you make it down. Uh, Dame and Prancer are happy that you are down there because they were encased in darkness, being 25 feet down. Uh, yes. The snow is gathered near the edge of this ravine area. Uh, and is up to your knees already. The snow seems to be swirling about and causing a great deal of distress. When you get down to the bottom, it is time for your first constitution check. Okay, I figured that was going to come. All right. 16. Uh, 16. 19. Everybody is fine because that spiced rum was good. Nice. Uh, so you begin your journey down in the pit. Uh, as you start to move about, uh, which direction would you like to go? There's really only one because it's these little ridges here. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess heading in the only direction we could go. Again, I wrote this in about two and a half hours, so we'll see how this plays out. Uh, how are we, how are we, uh, propelling this sleigh? <laughs> I was going to ask, did you make the sleigh first? Yeah, uh, yeah, I do, I do a bagpipe rendition of the Sugar Plum Fairies, and okay. fairies kind of shoot out of my, my bagpipes while I'm doing it. Now, so, do you make, like, a full-size sleigh? Mm -hmm. I can make a full size slide. Good. How are you going to push it? Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking about. Because <laughs> they're, you know, it's a non magical item. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, so you funny. know, I'm the fey type or whatever with nature i mean are there any kind of wildlife caribou or anything like that around <laughs> <laughs> you remember no. mayor kwanzaa told you there's nothing in the ravine i tell you what is it further downhill no <laughs> i mean no yeah i mean is, is it like a constant slope all the way down or nope it's so... the floor of the grand canyon i'm like you know what guys I got this. Click it again. Play another tune. We all have individual slides, so we're going. Belly first. Try, try to push with our feet, you know, get this thing going. Dame, you were going to say what? <laughs> well, I was going to say, I have a javelin and rope. I could throw it and it'd let it land and pull. And Prancer, you were going to say? Or what? Pulling things? Yeah. I'm too good to pull things. I move beyond those days. Oh, very nice. Okay. Uh, aim. Uh, yeah, Prancer is not going to pull a slide. I'm going to do that. <laughs> uh, bad Billy Piper. Yeah, it's level here. Oh, uh, it's level. So it would be like kicking a skateboard through the snow, pretty much. Yeah. With three wheels. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> you're going into difficult terrain. The snow yeah. here is pretty thick. Well, guys, it looks like we're going to have to hoof it. Ah, because I'm a satyr. Get it? So. And the first attack is going to be on you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, All right. are you abandoning the sleigh? Yeah, I guess so. Rip. All that work. Waste yeah. of magic, man. 
Yeah. You, you could have pulled the small triage sled in case Claus is injured, but nope, you left that up top. Hey, uh, I got another one. He can make I, another one. I can make another one. <laughs> now, as you go through the ravine, about 15 minutes later, everybody give me perception checks. <laughs> 18. And, uh, yeah, 16. 13. Uh, even Prancer hears this, uh, mostly because her nose is so far up in the air for being arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, arrogant? Yeah, there's there a low there. rumbling somewhere behind you. Okay, my little fawn ears pick up. And I'm As like... you turn and look, uh, you notice the sides of the canyon had an ice shelf Hi. and that ice shelf is collapsing it looks like there's an avalanche going on and it looks like it's headed right towards you guys oh the uh, slides are looking good now <laughs> common sense says uh, you're gonna be buried unless you guys hoof it yeah we're gonna well i mean i can oh, that I can far from it. the sled oh it's gonna bury the sled yeah, yeah. the sled that yeah. sled was worthless piece of shit <laughs> oh, that's right folks mature audiences only yeah, uh, I, you want to run or go back towards the sled no I'm going to run run yeah. one yeah, run, run two run, run. Answer. Running. Yeah. Uh, everybody DC 14 versus athletics mm -hmm. 19 mm -hmm. um, yeah. oh, I'm a sick I'm listening. I yes, yeah, stick it with a big seven. So. Uh, two of you are slow. <laughs> One of you is not. Which is uh, weird because I got 35 feet of movement. So it's just like, damn. <laughs> difficult terrain. Terrain, exactly. My little hoofs are hitting ice. <laughs> uh, Dame Celia, you saved. You take five hit points. Uh, Bad Billy, Prancer. 10 hit points as oh. snow and ice pepper you, knocking you face down into the snow. The area goes dark as Bad Billy Piper's rapier is buried underneath snow and ice. Oh. Damn it. And only a thin sliver of a moon uh, offers some limited illumination. Uh, Dame Celia, you only got knocked to your knees. You hear mm, 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 behind you as bad Billy and Prancer are trying to dig themselves out of it. Both of you give me strength checks, please. Prancer and bad Billy. Ooh, not 20, it's a 21. <laughs> yeah 12 <laughs> Whopping it is 12. still dark uh prancer as you pop the snow out of your ears uh you see a shadowy figure ahead of you and it is dame cilia bad billy is nowhere to be found that is his first fail dame oh. cilia and prancer what would you like to do uh i call out to him and see if i yeah. hear him uh, bad Billy, take four hit points of damage. Yikes, boy, this is this is becoming bad, guys. <laughs> uh, give me investigation checks, Dame and Levitate. Prancer. Can you levitate him? You don't she know can. Him? She's a genasi. <laughs> Twenty. Uh, Dame Cilia knows where he's at. Prancer, what's your investigation roll? All right, what? Investigation? Yep. It's, um, munching on food. 16? Yeah, you guys both figure out where Billy is because his feet are stuck outside. She's levitating, munching on donuts. <laughs> Better not eat all those goddamn donuts. Can are I, gonna, can, can are I see Are you going to levitate him out, Prancer? Yeah, I'll, I'll lend a hand. A okay. Foot. As you lift him up by the feet, uh, his arm extends out. And the bright glow of the rapier uh, moves about in a 15-foot diameter. Uh, <laughs> he has a mask face of snow and <laughs> can barely like hear you. Uh, <laughs> do you want to drop him or ease him down? I feel like I drop him, so I'm kind of a dick. 
Yeah, I'll see if I figured as much. <laughs> uh, just give me a straight up D20, bad Billy. Uh, D20 acrobatics? Cause... D20 straight up. Oh, son of a... Yeah, that's not bad. Five. <laughs> uh, it ain't bad, but it ain't great. <laughs> I think one more hit point of damage is your face Son hits of a rock. <laughs> uh, really? You just had to let him fall? That's all right. That's He's all right. a bit what? of a dick. Mm-hmm. He can catch himself. He's an adult. Uh, uh, good news. Uh... Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Good news. Uh, suddenly, the wind and snow stop, and silence fills the air, except for the gasping of Bad Billy Piper. I did not cast silence. The clouds clear in moonlight. Full moonlight bathes the canyon and is flickering off ice formations ahead of you. Uh, your heart begins to sink as the ice begins to move towards you in four distinct creatures oh, oh, crap. everybody roll initiative uh, have we got a potion of healing yep what is that uh 1d8 plus two can i take that first sure pig <laughs> 21 for initiative eight one d8 plus and mine is boom, 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 nine. You guys all suck. Uh, mm -hmm. Bad Billy Piper, you were the first to notice the four ice muffets coming at you. What would you like to do? Uh, I'm like, oh, great. These, this type, eh? Uh, okay. Uh, I am gonna, I'm gonna cast Minor Illusion. Uh, if we're close enough together and make us look like a, s a snow mound. Okay. Uh, what is my save? Um, I don't know. I guess, uh, well, my spell save, probably, what, 14? 14. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. They see right through that, huh? They continue forward. Uh, uh, nine. Prancer, you're up. Thank you, Pirate Dog Dice. <laughs> um, do, 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 do. How far away are they? They're about 15 feet. 15? Oh, they're close. However, you notice that of the four, one of them is wandering off into a different direction. Oh, stupid. <laughs> that, so one failed, right? <laughs> Correct. Um, I Eight. cast Bane. Oh, you beat me to it. On yeah. which one? Well, she can, can she can cast it up to three on okay. one cast. Yeah. yeah. Do you want yeah. all three? What's yeah. my save? A, what's this? Charisma 12? Yep. All right. <laughs> One of them is baned. You guys are getting <laughs> fucked tonight. Uh, and uh, Cilia, you and I tied at eight. What would you like to do? How fast are they? They already seem to be moving pretty quick. As elementals, they are not inhibited by this difficult terrain. Oh, well, fuck. Um, can I throw my javelin at them? Sure. Ah, oh, damn it. Two. <laughs> <laughs> you will never find that javelin again. <laughs> that thing is gone. Well, at least I didn't hit my party members. That is true. There are three of them. Let's see if any of them screw with you unmercifully. Not this round. Uh, one on each of you. Uh, so Cilia, seven plus three, I'm guessing a 10 doesn't get you. Nope. Uh, Billy? Um, 
four whatever. plus three is seven. That doesn't get you. And no. your answer. <laughs> Eight plus three is 11. That does not get you. New round. Billy, what do you want to do? Hmm. All right. Uh, Answer love. yours is Bane. The other two are not. Can we ask them what they want? Probably your javelin. Uh, but it's Billy's turn first. Ah, uh, okay. You guys all had your chance to talk. No, nope. Fuck nope. you guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, the nearest one. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. Is um. <laughs> All right. He's gonna feel some dissonant whispers, so he has to do a wisdom save. Fourteen. 18 on the die, baby. Oh, I am rolling a... hot. God damn it, Carrie. Not... Why'd you have to make such hot, hot dice? Do not fuck Sorry. with the DM on Christmas Eve, bitches. Uh, Prancer, you're up. All Things right. are looking grim. <laughs> I. He's really close to me. Yep, he is in melee range. All right, I attack with my meat. There you go. Wow, that sucks. Ten to hit. Uh, that would be almost an eleven. Uh, Dame Cilia. I attack. How far away is it for me? It's on top of you. Oh, I attack with my warhammer. Very good. <laughs> uh, twelve. That hits eleven Yay. to hit the ice methods. Okay. So I get one, eight plus three. Is that right? Yes. Uh, there's my. Five. That does something. Let's see if they piss with you guys. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh. Uh, that sounds awesome to me. Uh, Prancer, yours attacks. Remember, he's got to make his saving throw or whatever. Right? Oh, that's right. Uh, 14 is my saving throw roll. All right, so you save. All right, so I will attack you. And I will miss you horribly. Uh, Bad Billy Piper, Dame Celia, you notice that your opponents pause, rear back, open their maws, and shoot icicles at you. Frost breath. <laughs> uh, each creature must succeed on a DC 10 dexterity. Hmm. So all three of us roll dexterity? or Nope, just you just... and Dame. Okay. And you'll still take damage. Oh, shit. Okay. <sighs> 24. Half for Billy. Okay. Uh, All you need is a 10, Dame. Four. Yeah, you're taking full. Uh, that's two and a three, so five. Uh, Bad Billy takes two. Dame Stillia takes five. Brings us to the top of round three, Bad Billy. Okay. Ugh. All right. These guys are starting to piss me off. So, at this point, they are going to have to make a saving throw as I focus around them and cast Shatter. How many of them? Uh, three. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, it's, uh, they, they have to make a constitution save of 14. Okay, but all three of them. Yeah, I think they're all in, in radius. Uh, constitution, they don't get any plus, so I need 14s. Uh, Cilia's... Uh, 10, yours, not 20, Billy. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, Prancer, 6. So two, okay. two fails and a pass. Okay. Uh, the one that passed is still going to take damage. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Let's see. Uh, now, they're made of ice, aren't they? They are indeed. Okay. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> All right. Loud ringing noise, painfully intense, 10 all right. Uh, they won't give a shit about that. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
So it's 3d8. Nice. Uh, thunder. And yeah, for a big whopping seven, the one that succeeds okay. uh, takes half. So I guess so round three. it up. Three. Yeah. Round down. Round, round down. down. God damn it. Always round, round down. All right. That that's legitimate. Uh Prancer. Uh they are they are now pitted. Uh but they are injured, so you are up. Okay. They're all injured? All three are injured now. <laughs> Eight to Cilia's, seven to Bad Billy and yours. Okay. I will try again. I just weirdly saving my spell slots. Wait, I can just do inflict wounds? So I just touch him? Sure. And I roll the touch. Do 20. the bad touch. That's right. 21 to touch. Oh, yeah, easily. You only need an 11 to hit these guys. And then it's 13 necrotic damage. Okay. Ouch. Not looking good. Though I don't know if elementals take necrotic tonight. They are going to. Uh, fair enough. Uh, Dame Cilia, your turn. Keep in mind, if you kill yours, uh, you and I tied, so I'd still get to attack. Oh, but first... Bad news. Wah, wah. When the Mephit dies, it explodes in a burst of jagged ice. Each creature within five feet of it must make a DC 10 dexterity or take some damage. Prancer, you... Oh, no. Didn't kill yours yet. Disregard. Gave that one. That cat's out of the bag. Uh, Dame Cilia, you're up. Um... Can I channel divinity? Sure. What do I do? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, Kyle, if you're out there, can you want where's to our, Where's our know? rose lawyer? When we That's right. Him. Channel divinity. And snare foes with vines or turn away fey fiends. Oh, okay. You, you're doing entangle? Yes. Oh, okay. I got you. Folks, there's a D&D 5E spell list on here. I highly recommend. It's conjugation. A creature in the area. Strength saving throw. Four. I don't think I'm going to have enough. Yeah, minus two. Two. Uh, yours is ensnared successfully. However, you and I tied, so it still gets to bite. Uh <laughs> Life's tough. Uh -huh. Sack up. Uh, good news, yours and Billy's cannot breathe because uh, it has to recharge. Prancer, yours is not going to breathe either. So, uh, on Cilia, 12 plus 3, 15. Does that hit you? Nope. Uh, Billy, 3 plus 3. Does a 6 get you? No. Prancer, 17 plus 3, dirty 20. Oh, my God. Really? <laughs> the DM's a dick on Christmas Eve. Uh, you, you take one hit point of damage. Now, Dame Cilia, yours is ensnared, and it will have to use its turn next time to break free if it can. Billy, round four. Uh, oh, these guys are really pissing me off. So, yeah, so I am going to weave a phantasmal uh, terrain, I Are guess, you situation. Woodstock? Yeah, I am. <laughs> okay. Woo! Burning Man, because I'm going to make it look like they're all on fire. So, blue flame. So, they have to do uh, an... 14 intelligence save for phantasmal force. Silly is 12 minus 1, so fail. Yours, 8 minus 1, that's going to be a fail. Prancer, not 20. Yours is too stupid beyond words, but it doesn't think it's on fire. I was about to say it's too stupid to realize it. Uh, does it do any damage? Yes, it does. They uh, 
until they fail their th- I mean until they Make succeed it. yeah they're going to be taking 3 d6 damage so 3 is what they take this round 3 points or 3, three points and it, yeah it's 1d6 that are rolled sorry about that I'll clarify this uh, round they take 3 11 10 Oh, Prancer, that was so close. <laughs> uh, I assume the one that saves does not take damage. Uh, no, it does not. Very good. Prancer, you're up. Your method is looking chippy. Okay. Chippy. I attack him with the mace again. So 13. So hit. Hits. It had one hit point left. Uh, however, death burst. Each creature within five feet. You must make a DC 10 dexterity, taking half damage if successful. Wow, eight. Wow. <laughs> Apparently, I'm just like, Ugh, this guy. Uh, rolls went cold. You suffer two hit points of damage <laughs> as you are peppered with icicles, but your opponent is gone uh dame cilia yours is entangled i will give you advantage to hit it uh noting however that it still gets to go why does it get to go again because it's tied with you so it will get the opportunity to break free to the other side Uh and meet jim morrison um can i use i don't know how this works this i probably can't do this no Divine Smite? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that'll work. <laughs> that, that'll that work well, but you gotta hit it. Oh, okay. Come on. You get to add 2d8 to your damage. Ugh, eight. Sewing and a miss! Uh, you did not smite it. Uh, it will now try and break free. Oh, hang on a second. Uh, did you roll at advantage? No. Reroll. Yeah, that's a six. Wow, you suck. Yeah. Uh, Twelve minus two is ten. Uh, it is still stuck. Round five. Uh, Bad Billy Piper, you see to your right. Prancer's ice method is no more. To your left, Dame Cilia's is wrapped up into white bleached tendrils. Yours, however, is ready to beat your ass. What would you like to do? Uh, it is going to have to do another intelligence save as I am concentrating. And, uh, yeah. Calling the fire. Nat's 20, bitches. Son of a bitch. Okay. So, now, does the concentration actually... Look at that. Look, keep... at that. Look at that fucking roll, oh, boys that's and girls. One too. That's yeah, right. that's, yeah, that's a cool looking dice, but it sucks with the 20 on it. Uh, All right. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a pirate dog dice, baby. Pirate dog dice, dice so, will fucking kick your ass. Let me ask you this. Okay, that round I was just concentrating. Now, do I actually get to take an action this round, or does that count as my action? You're the you DM. You roll. Attacked. Mm-hmm. It's Christmas. I will give you the favor of being able to attack. Okay, I am gonna lash out. So the... magnanimous. That's all right. I, I I'm idea. a giver. I give. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I give headaches. Sometimes I give seduction pleasure. Oh, Jesus. Okay. How, uh, he's up in my grill, isn't he? Yep. Keep running right. your mouth. I'll pull out Big Red here, and uh, we'll do some bloody damage. Damn it. <laughs> All right. All right. I am going to attack him with the rapier, the moon rip, rip, rapier. Okay. Does a 19 hit him? Mm-hmm. Okay. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. <laughs> He is going to take a big whopping six points of damage, but hopefully that's enough. <laughs> so do what? Kill him? <laughs> no. It's a method, <laughs> man. You have 21 hit points and you've done 16. Uh, uh, Prancer, uh, your opponent has been shattered. Uh, Billy, uh, Bad Billy Piper has one on him. Dame Cilia has one wrapped in tendrils. If you attack hers, you get advantage. If you attack Billy's, I'm going to say you probably stand a reasonable chance of killing it. I guess I'll attack Billy's with my crossbow, so I'm not close. Oh, you're going to fuck over Billy. (laughs) 
Damn kill it. it. Kill it. Kill it so he can take the brunt of the explosion. <laughs> oh, 16 to hit and 4 damage. Oh, yeah, that gets him. But <laughs> Don't sadly, I get to make a deck save? Come on. You do, but it doesn't kill him. He has one hit point left. <laughs> You get a deck save to save for half. Uh, <laughs> Dame Celia, yours is still permanently entrenched in this bullshit entanglement spell. I'll still give you advantage to hit if you want to attack him. Yes. Okay. Ugh. 14. Yep, 14 gets him. So then I cast Divine Smite. Hey, I just figured out these fuckers can fly. And sure, I go ahead and add two to eight. <laughs> I got 2d8. Uh, you do your damage and you add 2d8. Five, nine. Total? Yes. So you did damage and you did your 2d8 roll. No. What's damage? For your hammer? I don't know. 1d8. One one uh, uh, 1d8 plus 3. 7. 8. 9. 10. So seven. So how many total? Nine plus seven. Oh, yeah. Uh, he explodes. Give me... let the dog out. Uh, I will roll for her dexterity save, then. <laughs> uh, 12. That's a 12. She only needs a 10. I think her dex is nominal. Her dex is nominal, so she gets half damage on the 1d8. <laughs> 7. Uh, Dame Cilia, take three hit points of damage. And she is not going to hear me from where she's at. So she takes three hit points of damage. Hers is successfully destroyed. Round six. One full minute of combat. You guys are heaving your guts out. <laughs> uh, Bad Billy Piper, uh, a crossbow bolt has zinged over your shoulder. Uh, what the fuck? These things have round. weapons? No, <laughs> Prancer shot yours from behind Oh, him. oh okay. Gotcha. You're up. All right. <laughs> that pissed me off, but I, I focus my fury on the Memphis still and let out a string of insults to the little blighter. Oh, fuck you, man. So, uh, yeah, it's going to have to whoa, do whoa, a whoa, whoa, hang on, Hang on a second. I didn't uh -oh. attack you yet. Oh, I thought you did. <laughs> I thought it was my turn. It, yeah, I, I skipped yours because I only attacked uh, Cilia. And actually, oh. I don't think I attacked you last round. But oh well. Uh, for you, this round, Done. Uh, Done. 11 plus 314. No, that missed. Okay, now it's your turn, round six. Okay. Yeah, I think String I skipped over you. <laughs> Vicious mockery it is. Yes, it is. Your favorite one. 14 uh, the save. That is a six, so that ain't going to save. Okay, and you know what they take, so I roll... He only has one hit point left. All right, I hit him for three. Uh, <laughs> wow. Give me your uh, DC 10 dex save. Now, wait. It's it's psychological damage, so does this thing just wither? <laughs> or... Let me think. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll make my dex save. Damn. Oh, wah, wah. What's the save? <laughs> and Motherfucker, nine! <laughs> wow, you suck. It's, a, it's only a D8. And it's only two hit points a day. Uh, okay, but still, yeah. Um, you know what? It's cold. Everybody has to roll a con save again. Uh, Would it really bother me? I'm just like air. Yeah, air freezes. No, it doesn't. Uh, oh, Nobody now 20 for you. Uh, I have... four, 14 on my con save. That works. Prancer? Oh Seven. Uh, you are going to fight and save at minus two for now. Possibly worse as the time goes on. Yeah, that's my third nat 20 on this die. I'm in heaven. Thank you, Santa. Uh, the good news <laughs> is all the ice methods are gone. The fourth one has wandered off. God knows where, doing God knows what with God knows who. Uh, looming ahead of you is Mount Cain, and that brings you to the jumping off point where you can go left or right. Three hit points. <clears throat> what I have a have resistance to, to cold. Oh, you do? Yeah. Reroll then. 
Yeah. This is resistance to cold. It, what dr one cold mean? I don't understand. I'm trying to look this up. It's, it's damage probably, resistance cold. Yeah. yeah. So I'll I'll let you reroll. Still probably terrible. Twelve. Yeah, oh, that works. All you need is a twelve. So okay. you do not suffer a penalty fighting at this time. Uh, ahead of you is Mount Cain. It appears to be an old dormant volcano, just like the constable said. Uh, looking around, there's a branch that goes left. There's a branch that goes right. <laughs> Everybody roll perception check. Perception. 12. Uh, 13 in perception. 21. All three of you notice, ah, the clouds seem to be parting. The moonlight is coming out. Uh, you get a nice glow here against the uh, blanched white background of the snow-covered valley. And then you see a black shadow cross over the moon, turn back around, and head right for you. It appears to be a giant bat, maybe, something with wings. Uh, what would you like to do? How close are we to the volcano? Uh, you're about 30, 50 feet, some, something like that. How fast is this thing moving? Uh, it's going at a pretty good clip, but if you guys want to make a run for it, you can. What do you guys think? Uh, and, uh, it can fly at 60 feet. Oh, and I can only run at 35. So. And it's difficult to rain, so you're yeah. running less than that. Yeah, I am. Damn it. Okay. We just like hide under the trees. There ain't no oh, trees down no here. No trees here. I thought there were like <laughs> pine trees. Then what is this on the map? Rocks? Uh, no, this is the canyon. Rocky areas. And then the, these are the hills on the edge of the canyon. Is there a way to get into the volcano from here? Uh, you can look around if you want. Hmm. Hmm. So, um... <laughs> uh, notice he puts dragon up there. <laughs> oh my god. So that gives it away what the winged figure is. Not a bat. No. Not a plane. No. No. Dragon. Yeah. Dragon. Do we so. know what kind of a dragon? Looks white to you. Yeah, I knew that was coming up. Uh, it kind of glistens off of its scales and stuff like that. In the, the moonlight bathes it in a nice white light. Oh, Jesus. It's like a 550 luminary bulb. How far, is, oh. or how far above is it? Eh, it's about 100 feet above. Seems to be circling. So, before anything, I want to. Can I take a second? Sure. I just want to say hi to my cousin Braden, who is watching right now, who just texted me, I am watching you live right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you, Braden, for tuning in. Thank Braden, you. thanks for tuning in. And uh, if you, he's you about to any, die. <laughs> yeah, if you have any advice, go ahead and text it. Text your cousin. I, I appreciate it. He's he's only 12, I mean, but he's a big fan. Oh, so now we got to clean our clean up our act, Caitlin. Hell no. He's, <laughs> from, he's from Louisiana. He's heard a hell of a lot worse. So uh, we should talk slower <laughs> oh i throw a donut up to the dragon you what i throw a donut <laughs> give me a persuasion roll mm, at least i suck <laughs> <laughs> oh 20 <laughs> <sighs> hope the dragon likes donuts the dragon snatches it out of midair and a, a Sheldon, Big Bang Sheldon, evil smile. <laughs> That's his koala smile. <laughs> crosses his face. The Grinch smile. And kind of nods its head. Mm. <laughs> I give him a thumbs up. <laughs> and throw another one. <laughs> ah, there you go. I don't breathe. No, you don't. I can't be suffocated, oh, you and can't. I can't be impacted by attacks that require to inhale. 
Sorry, this is just, I'm just losing. You're fine. She's taking this, it all in. <laughs> this is this is not a green dragon, so you know. Hey, yeah, and you know you got to ask questions when you're playing a new character. That's not a big deal. No. Uh, the good news is Dame Cilia seems to have garnered its attention. How many donuts would you like to give to this creature? Well, I ate one, so. And she just gave it to everything that I have. <laughs> Oh, wait! <laughs> Dude, it's so, a dragon. So if Claus is injured and needs a healing donut, he's just fucked? He's I can lay fuck. hands on him. Oh, these things, what are these? Like, good berry donuts? These are just <laughs> they donuts. Uh, well, just there's no such food. thing as just donuts. Well, yeah. they do have sprinkles on them. <laughs> yeah, they could be good berry sprinkles. Making them go. the greatest donuts. Uh, let's see how many he will require. I'm going to take a half of donuts put it in my pocket you stop that <laughs> a total of six donuts are consumed before the young wormling flies up and into the volcano yes he's apparently sated and happy go lucky those now must be good donuts yeah really those, those are some damn like, good we're sh- gonna we're gonna have to thank mr horton for those donuts so seven and a half donuts have been consumed okay or are accounted for i should say <laughs> uh well there you are you're at mount Kane. you can go left or you can go right do we hear anything it is dead silent here there's no wind the snow has stopped uh, the moonlight bathes the entire canyon in its glorious illumination. <laughs> Is there any way into the volcano? If you guys want to look around, you can. I'd like to look around. Uh, if anybody everybody else give... wants to. Everybody who wants to look, give me an investigation roll. Yeah, uh, and I'm going to make <clears throat> like wind sounds. Because apparently I talk like a whisper. You talk like a whisper. Boop, boop. No. 16 for an investigation. You don't know 10. Um, whoa. Six. Eight for investigation? Wow, your dice hate you tonight. Uh, Bad Billy Piper, you find a crack in the base of the volcano that uh, would indeed allow you to enter into the core, aka Caldera, maybe, possibly. You aren't sure. <laughs> Remember, you are on a rescue mission. Tick-tock. We are. We are. And you're going into the lair of the wormling, so... Yes. I don't know how many donuts you thought you'd escape with tonight. <laughs> Obviously not enough. Damn it. Uh, Prancer, your windstones are complete. What's that? Isn't that what you were just doing? Making windstones? No, I'm just like, I'm talking. Wow. <laughs> wow, okay. Like wind. <laughs> uh, so, Bill, Bad Billy, do you want to go into the Mount Cain or no? Okay. Uh, player knowledge here. The, the site is inside the volcano. I'm sorry, you cut out. Oh, I'm sorry. The crash site is in the volcano. You have no idea. I thought I cut out again. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, if the oh. crash site is in the volcano, the dragon probably ate Mr. Claus. Yeah, I was about to say, hey, all right, job's done. Let's go. <laughs> we got mulled wine waiting for us back at the <laughs> at the end. Um, no, no, I, I defer to Dame Cilia and Prancer. It's just like, should we go? Hey, in? ladies, your choice. Yes. Do we go in or do we keep going? I say we go in. Where would he have crashed? Even in here? I don't know. I guess it's what we have to find out. How does it smell? Do I even have a sense of smell? I guess I don't. You do. Uh, Dame Cilia and Bad Billy Piper will tell you that it smells like dragon shit. Oh, I don't know what that smells Or as like. they say in Louisiana, dragon shit. shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Can we, like, make one of these things something we can ride? Well, see, okay, guys, here's my thought. <laughs> We've befriend- befriended the dragon. 
Uh, you didn't get eaten. Well. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Brayden says, go in. Thank you, Brayden. <laughs> we go in, we find the dragon, we ask for a ride to find out where Mr. Claus is. This is Santa Claus. All right. Fair enough, who wants to go in first? <sighs> I'll go in since I'm not even a real person. I'm just... There's a lot of poop in the bottom of the caldera. <laughs> I'm just levitating, I assume, still. Right well, you, you can still see. No, it, the caldera is uh, calciumed over. Oh. I'm like, oh, these gross creatures that I have to eat. I go here, wormling, wormling, wormling. Well, so far, Prancer's the only one in oh, there, and she right. levitates over the, the poo channels. So, Bad Billy or Dame, which one of you wants to go in next? I'll go in. I was about to say, rock, paper, scissors? Yeah. <laughs> rock, pe paper, or parchment. There we go. Dame, you step in, and you step in squarely into poop. Poop happens. Eh. Bad Billy? Uh, yeah, I'm going to try my dexterity on it, and yeah. It's and, covered and, in poop. There's, uh, so no, there, there's no getting out clean no with guarantee. this. Uh, Damon, bad, as you step into the caldera, you hear <coughs> cracking. Uh, everybody give me, uh, perception checks, please. Uh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> perception, huh? 17. 19. Oh, uh, uh, 10. Uh, Dame Cilia and Prancer. Uh, looking up, looking down, you notice two things. A, the fat asses that are Dame Cilia and Bad Belly Piper are starting to crack the gentle caldera. The calcium deposit there uh, may not sustain your weight. It barely sustains the weight of all the poo. Right. Uh, looking up about 150 feet, uh, you see what is best described as a rudimentary nest. Uh, filled with crisscrossing, rotting trees that somebody larger than the wormling must have built. Mm. Uh, Billy, you see poop. Okay. Uh, so, with this cracking or whatever, I'm taking it, it's not a frozen lake that's under this thing, is it? Probably not. Uh. <laughs> it's probably a lake of something. Lava. Yeah, lava, hot lava. Uh I don't know. Damn. Okay. So I see a lattice work of, of a nest up top. As the moonlight okay. seeps into the top of the Mount Cain. Okay. So, okay. This nest, is it, I mean, how big are we talking about? Is this like covering the, the entrance of the caldera from the top or? It doesn't completely cover it. It makes uh you know what a uh, dream catcher is? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay. Uh, Major web. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh. Okay. So at this point, uh, all right. I have. At used this point, how about everybody roll, roll a d twenty? Uh, oh. Okay. So. Do I? I'm just levitating. Oh yes, because you'll know why in just a moment. Oh. Son of a bitch. I will roll for Cilia. Already now. 11. Holy shit, I got a nat one. Ooh, it's a nat one. Yeah, okay. so did I. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Oh, so you both got nat ones? Yeah. Six, 16. You Very know what good. they call that? Snake eyes. <laughs> close they call it stink eyes because <laughs> at that moment in time the young wormling has shot out his donuts and each of you are covered in dragon poo uh. as it falls from the nest <laughs> which me or am i like a ghost this is a ghost no thing. you have a corporeal form you have a yeah. form yeah so each of you have our shitheads right. yeah, we are shitheads <laughs> at least i can't smell it Oh, that's true, but you no, do I'm see sweet. sprinkles. <laughs> no, it had to this be thing sweet. has the digestive tract of a penguin. No, that's so bad. If you haven't seen a penguin's digestive 
stature. It's uh, go see it. It's yeah. hilarious. They oh, eat and they, they crap. Shit. <laughs> they shit. Eat it just shit. goes right through them like yeah. a minute later. So, uh, two of you are covered in poo. The climb is going to be significant, and there ain't no uh, bones of Mr. Claus in here. I'm going to be real gross, and then I kind of like make my poo into antlers. Uh, it's soft. Oh. All right, I tried, and I go to Zom. Game. Game. You can feel it running down the back of your neck. Oh, <laughs> it is so awful. I shake my head like a dog. Now it's all over bad, Billy. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Too bad we didn't have prestidigitation. That's true. Uh, out of all the barred things, I didn't take Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> so everybody's covered in poo. What do you want to do? All right. Uh, she did feed it six donuts. Yeah, and do that's going to be a lot of pain. Anywhere? Nope, you do not see the wormling. And there's there's no evidence of Mr. Claus. So. No evidence whatsoever. I yell. Oh, no. I yeah. yell for the wormling. Hello! Hello, 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 hello. I have crack. door donuts! Crack, crack, crack. Oh, uh, all right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna turn around. Be like I'm, I'm done with these people. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm done with you. <sighs> shall oh. you stay or shall you go? I'm going. I go. Okay, bye. Bad belly and dame. I mean, seeing that she's she's going is just like uh, <laughs> just like go in and turn around. <laughs> she's had enough shit for one night she's leaving yeah yeah look I think we should follow suit because this floor behind, under us is not gonna last alright so. that's fine I'll follow you guys Yeah. everybody leaves good news is you step outside still no wind but you can feel the temperature drop and, uh, yeah. you, you are still stuck with the do you want to go to the left of Mount Cain or the right of Mount Cain well first I'm gonna take the snow and scrub the poo off of me uh, give me a performance check on how well you do. <laughs> Three. You managed to smear it all over your body, oh, ergo camouflaging yourself. Oh, well, there she goes. She's like Arnold Schwarzenegger in Predator. <laughs> At least I'm camouflaged. So, all right. Prancer, did you want to try and wipe off the poo? Yeah, I guess as I'm walking away, I'm like, bye. Performance check. Try to swipe it off. 20, not natural. Prancer sticks her head in the snow, does the left-right turny, and gets most of the poo out. Most. Most. Of the poo out. I give her a big hug. Oh, well, since we're all done with that, you know, I, I take out my little uh, pan pipe, play it a little bit, and I create like a stack of towels. <laughs> I'm like, let's try these. <laughs> You're like, no, or yeah. <laughs> what? I, I, I don't a give two shits either way. <laughs> ah, I take shit. a towel and. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give me a performance check. Oh, yeah. Wow. 14. Yeah, you get most of it off. All right. Yeah, same thing. So, performance check? Yep. All right. All right. Uh, 22. Yeah, you get, you get pretty much all of it off. All right. Prancer, do you use a towel to wipe it off? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Performance. You get the rest? Yep. I'm gonna get stuck in this towel. Thirteen. Yeah, you get most of it off. Okay, so now you guys don't mostly stink. Which way would you like to go? <laughs> Left or right? Sense of smell, so there is none. I'll let you uh, trust me. Fight. The other two smell you just fine. As yeah, will predators. <laughs> yeah, we smell like dragon shit. Who wants to mess with that? Yeah, literally, I wouldn't want to mess with that. 
male dragons. <laughs> uh. <laughs> we don't know if it's a female dragon. Not yet, you don't. Oh, God. Anyway, uh. I'll let you two decide where to go. Since I already um. into the volcano. Let's go... I don't know. Le left? <laughs> left? I'm voting left. That's fine. Can we go right before? You haven't been down the right path. Mm. We've only gone straight. Yeah, this is your trail of tears. Why are we turning left? Into the rocks? No, left is there. there there's, <laughs> there's a path to the left a and a path to the Y. Oh. Get it? Or it's a T on the side. Yeah, or that, yeah. <laughs> so left? I guess. The know. wind begins to whip. Everybody give me a constitution save. Prancer, you get it at advantage again. 18? 18? You're good? Seven. You're bad. <laughs> oh, shit. 13. Uh, you're good. Uh, Dame Cilia, you will attack in melee at minus two because you're having trouble feeling your hands. If only you would have left that warm shit on your face, maybe that would have been okay. Yeah, whatever. Uh, as you continue to go left, uh, you notice packages and a cave entrance. Mm -hmm. But there are packages that appear to be opened with claws. Can we investigate the packages? Sure. They are empty. Oh, man. Uh, is there wrapping paper? Shredded wrapping paper. I take a sliver of wrapping paper. Okay. And tie it around my wrist. Is there? Are there any trails? Uh, there are no trails because the wind has started to pick up again. Is there a bow? I'm sure there is. I take the bows and I put it on everyone in the party. So we all have a bow on our head. Fair okay. enough. Can I do divine sense? Sure. Never okay. know when you need it. What do I do? I don't know. Kyle, what's she, she do with divine sense? Me. Divine sense, she'll probably sense, sense whether there's fey or good or evil. Yeah. Oh, there's evil here. Oh, great. So it's probably where we need to be. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, if there's a trail of presence, uh, are there any other signs? Like, uh, is there blood? Nope, no blood. Okay. So maybe, uh, Mr. Claus is has like two personalities, and it came out, and he went and took the presents. He calling him bipolar. <laughs> I think she is. Uh, Jekyll and Hyde kind yeah. of syndrome. Are there any footprints? Wait, but it's footprints? Like on the grid. Negative. Negative. Negative because, because of, the, of wind. the wind. Yep. Okay. Gotcha. But we can still see see like a trail of open presents, right? Yep. There are about six open presents. Well, you uh, know, we have to go in the cave. That's just how it's going to have to be. Yeah, uh, not necessarily. Peek around the cave? Is that what we're thinking? No, because as you dick around with the presents, the ice troll comes out of the cave to attack uh, you. Geez. Everybody roll initiative. Oh, uh, rolling initiative. Thanks, Kyle. I got this Ooh, song. Not one. Mm, I got a nine. Uh, uh, 13. Uh, 15 is your winner, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, go for it, Prancer. What do you want to do? The ice troll comes out. Ah! Uh, I'm gonna do something. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what yet. TikTok. <laughs> I. What does this do? What is it? Tell us. Ray of enfeeblement. Oh, uh, yeah, that'll right. work. That'll work. It's kind of like a bane. So. I cast that. Huh? What's my save? It is. 
Constitution 12. I'm using green. Ooh, that's a three on the roll. <laughs> For a total of seven, it fails. How much damage does it take? I don't understand how to figure out my damage. Ray of... Enfeeblement? Yeah, it's not telling me. It just says effect. I don't Ray know. of enfeeblement necromancy. Mm -hmm. uh, 60 feet concentration. So if I hit you, you got to roll a black beam of invenerating energy springs from your finger towards a creature within range. Make a range spell attack. Oh, so you have to hit it. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's hit, to hit. Okay. Uh, yes, that hits. Uh, on a hit, the target deals only half damage with weapon attacks that use strength until the spell ends. Uh, that's sadly not going to do you much good. No, it's like a debuff, I guess. Yeah, yeah so, like so if I used weapons, it would be useful, but I don't use weapons. Uh, next up is 13, Bad Billy Piper, a black beam. Hits the creature directly in its chest, but seems to have no effect. Mm. And I, st I start whispering delicate whispers to it real quick. Do you speak troll uh, or giant? Well, it's an effect. I mean, so, okay. so yeah. So it just has to do a wisdom save. 14 minus 113. Ah, it fails. Okay. Damage? Damage is 11. Uh, Dame Psychic. Cilia. Yeah. Okay. Dame Cilia, you're up. Uh, and remember, you're rolling at minus two. Yes, yes. Um, okay, I'm going to try. How far away is it? Eh, it's within melee range. It... All right, I'll try it with my Warhammer. Okay. 11? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Uh, it's turn. Uh, it does claw, claw, bite attack. So everybody's going to get a hit. Uh, the bite. Ouch. is going to be Cilia. Uh, so on Cilia, the bite. Eight. Eight plus bite. Seven. Fifteen. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> bad, bad Billy, the claw, 14 plus 721. Yeah, well, that hits. And 7 plus 7, 14 Prancer. What? Sorry, it's a hit? Yeah. What'd you say? 14. 14. Hits. I'm going to use uh, Murder Hobo Ink Dice because it's 2d6 plus 4. Sad. Uh, three plus four is seven damage. Each of you is raked across your chest or face. Round dose. Yeah. So we each take seven damage? Yep. Oh, mm -hmm. shit. Yeah. Oh, that's not the half of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, All uh, right. Remember, you guys do have spells. We do. Prancer, we... you're up. I'm gonna heal myself. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I tell Celia if she has to touch herself, go ahead. <laughs> I'm good. I was. Yeah, do you I don't guys think she's been be hurt. Touched? Uh, I am probably gonna have to use a spell. <laughs> Since Prancer drank the only potion you guys had. Exactly. I thought we had multiple. Snooty bastard. You had one. <laughs> you had donuts. You had a lot of donuts. Mm, I donuts. I need to like... All right, so Prancer, did you touch yourself and regain hit points? Yeah, I touched myself real good. Nice. Billy, are you going to touch yourself? Yeah, so I'm going to take this action to touch myself real good. Sorry, it's going to be a minute, guys. <laughs> one minute. 15 no no i was okay. kidding i was like making a oh I, I thought you were doing a ritual spell i'm, no, like, no, no, I'm no, gonna no, fucking no, kill no, you no, no. uh dame Celia, <laughs> that brings us to you at the near the end of round two okay well i guess i gotta try to hit it again yes you do 18 oh yeah 18 okay. even minus two hits that oh that's right uh let's see one 
Really plus five range one D eight three uh ten. So twenty one damage. Let's roll a D twenty to find out what happened. <laughs> Nineteen. Uh, your war hammer knocks its head off its shoulder, and it flies into a lump of snow. The mm. eyes blink twice, and it begins to move its jaw and heads back towards you. The claws. The hell? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, you guys are fucked. Uh, on bad Billy the claw. Uh. 12 plus 7, 19. Mother. 10 plus 7, 17 to Prancer. Both those hit? Yeah, they both hit. Murder Hobo Inc. dice, folks. <laughs> there it is, bitches. Uh, 14 hit points. Uh, slash, slash. Are you freaking kidding me? On, I, on both of you. You and Bad oh. Billy. I'm unconscious. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh, round three. All right. TPK on Christmas Eve. Round oh, three. Uh, Prancer, give me a death save. Dun, 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 dun. Why did I roll a 14? That worked. Okay, that's one plus one. Uh, Bad Billy, you're up. Your partner has fallen. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna reach out and I'm gonna touch her for for cure wounds. And uh, let's see, it's only gonna be a first level, but it, it'll get you. It'll get you going. Uh, that, ooh, not bad. Eleven points. What? Hit points. Yeah. And I'm being down. selfish because uh, self selfless. Sorry. Selfish. <laughs> I'm being selfish because I want to stare at you. Yeah, uh, exactly. Dame, Dame Cilia, uh, you're up. Okay. I'm ahead, hurt. Ahead I'm is hurting, coming after you, and, and Bad Billy's hurting. Uh, well, I can lay on hands on Bad Billy. There you go. Thank so you. He gets 15. <gasps> Thank you. Uh, my turn. Nah, 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 the walking dead head is coming at you. So, where's my other colorful one? Okay, so on Cilia, the ankle biter, 4 plus 7 is 11. On Billy, 5 plus 7, does a 12 get you? No, it does not. And on Prancer, uh, 6 plus 7, does a 13 get you? No. I'm done. Round 4. Prancer, it's time for a little payback action. Okay. Um, I guess I'll do my inflict wounds again. Sure. Ooh, 20 not natural to hit. Easily. And it is 15 damage. 15 or 16? 15. One five. Uh, Reroll the d20. That is a 15. Uh, odd even. You sever the right arm, and that's the one that's been attacking you. It falls into the snow, but then you see it start to crawl towards you. Uh, it will not get to attack you this round. Uh, bad Billy Piper. Why do we have no fire? <laughs> I'm about to take care of that. <laughs> bad Billy, impress your cousin right now. Okay, I am going to attack it. Uh, I'm going to try to spear the head uh, with the with or the rapier. The brain. Uh, does a 16 hit? Easily. 15 okay. is what you need. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I pierce it for 11 points of damage, and if I'm holding it, I'm going to take the lantern oil <laughs> that I have and douse that sucker with this action. <laughs> sure, that'll work. Uh, uh, Dame Cilia, Bad Billy has eliminated the ability for the head to move. What would you like to do? Uh, it still has its left arm, which is going to go after Bad Billy. 
uh, and its right arm uh, is going to have to try and catch up to Prancer next round. And what about the head? He's got it speared. Okay. Um... But he's about to set it on fire, so if you want to fuck around with it, he's going to set you on fire. Yeah, I'll, I'll let him do that. So I guess I'll go after the arm. Sure. The severed arm or the other arm? The severed one? Or no? Okay. There's one that's attached? Yes. I'll go after that one. Wise choice. Go ahead. Four. Swing and so a two. Swing and a miss. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go odd even. Dame Sylvia, you're odd. Billy, you're even. Four. Sorry, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> the arm takes a slash at your buttocks region. Yikes. Well, plus seven's 19, I'm guessing. 19 hits my little doe tail. That's right. Pirate or murder elbow ink dice. Ooh. Uh, snake eyes, total of six damage. Okay. Snake eyes. Uh, back to the top of the order, Prancer. We've got one severed arm that's crawling towards you, one attached arm to a headless body, uh, and Billy looks like he's gonna light my fire. I'm gonna the do the crossbow on the arm that's moving. Okay. 13 to hit it? Nope, not good enough. Mm. All right, and I just shoot it into the snow, apparently. Billy, uh, you're up. Okay. I am <laughs> going to take the flint, strike it on my steel, and set that bitch on fire and pull at the same time. <laughs> Pulling out. That's <laughs> Pulling out early, man. <laughs> that's just wrong. <laughs> Your 12-year-old cousin won't understand that, but we do. We understand. He, 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 he's might. Education. he might. Yeah, he might. Oh, oh yeah. Google. Nah, never mind. No, no. <laughs> don't tell him to do that. <laughs> uh, okay, how much damage do you do? 1d6. Uh, with that, let's see. Uh, 1d6. Let's see. Uh, six. Nicely done. Google Blue Waffle. Uh, I, do we really want to do that? <laughs> no, we don't. Google Blue Waffle. Now that we does just give you actual waffles that are blue. No, he's what gonna did do it? that. Damn what? it! Because you know, there's something called Urban Dictionary. You could probably do that too. Oh, he's already on it. <laughs> there you go. Uh, we'll save the mother-in-law story for off yes, camera. Yes, let's. Uh, six damage is not enough to kill it. Uh, it shrieks out in a fit of pain. Dame Celia, uh, the lumbering, one-armed, headless troll, uh, seems to be slowing down quite a bit. What would you like to do? I'll try to hit again. Weezer, blow on this dice. Ooh, 19. Minus 2 is 17. That does hit. How much damage do you do with your warhammer? <clears throat> Nine. You only needed four. Uh, you crack the body of the ice troll, shattering it. Uh, the head stops moving. The arm going after Prancer stops moving. Everything stops moving except you three, which smells strangely like dragon shit. Uh, it would appear that you've destroyed the ice troll? Up here? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know where this is going. I still have some oil, so uh, let's light <laughs> each part on fire. <laughs> so we're sending up smoke signals. Hey, we've got no choice. This thing will come back and kill us. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. Uh, you light it up. Anybody want to go inside the uh, cave? Uh, uh, we kind of have to. Yeah, yeah. We see where this is going, so probably. Who's going in first? I volunteer, Prancer. <laughs> <laughs> Prancer, you want to go in? 
Fine, I'll go in first. <laughs> she levitates over some troll shit and give me an investigation check, Prancer. Do you have dark vision? I don't think so. Five. You don't see shit because it's pretty dark in here. Yeah, I don't think I have dark vision. Let's see. I don't know. No. Probably not. She can't even tell you it smells like troll shit in there. <laughs> How much shit do we need to have in this scenario? It's Christmas. I'm giving it's you a lot of something. Hey. You know, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Evidently. Prancer cannot see shit inside this cave. <laughs> That's right. I should, like, really dark was, in here, guys. That was a play on words. Okay. Where's Hannah at? Caitlin? What? what? Where's Hannah at? Oh, her parents' house. Yeah, She's no. like, was watching the stream. Uh, <laughs> I miss her. Yeah, we should have had her on here, too. Okay, uh, Bad Billy, do you want to go in and use your uh, lighted uh, rapier? Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, I do have night vision, too. Night vision. Oh, Dark roll vision. Me a, roll me a d6. I knew that was coming. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm going to use my fill bar dice. Uh, three. Uh, you find three toys in there. Prancer now with the additional illumination in there. Roll D6 for me. What am I doing? D6? Yep. Just straight up. Straight up. A solid three. <laughs> you, find, you find the other three presents that were unwrapped. So all together you found six torn up boxes gift presents outside you have found six presents what are inside. the presents uh they are various toys and at least one crochet kit <laughs> <laughs> nice Plum crocheting and embroidery so some lady in uh ornament is waiting for her crochet kit yeah oh. all right bag that up for him <laughs> but you do not find Mr. Claus, nor do you find his magical conveyance. So that's not, not you, Santa Claus. All right. So. Seriously, you're going to make us go up the other part? I'm an asshole. And you still have about uh, 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. man. Yes. Uh oh. She's got to let the dog out. Oh, I thought she was going to go over there and, like, beat him. That'll, that'll be next. <laughs> Damn it, I told you! Uh, Domestic violence! <laughs> All right. So, what do you want to do? I guess we're going down the shaft. <laughs> uh, that's going to call for yet another constitution save, boys So we're... Boys. so. Uh, I missed something. So there's like more to the cave down. No. Oh. Oh. Okay. Gotcha. Now she wants to go down to the right. I assume. Oh. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, so, we're in like a video uh, game. You know, the mountain walls are super extended up, so you can't go out. Yeah. True. Exactly. So give me your con check. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, no. 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 Con. Come on. Uh, 21. Nice. None of you are affected by the cold because you are hugging the walls. Uh, let's see. Dame Cilia is still going to fight at minus two. You guys head down the shaft. And <laughs> lo and behold, you see something. Why do you picture like Santa, but he's like, Fucking something. That's what it costs. Well, that mail order cut a <laughs> hole in the box. <laughs> Dick in a box. <laughs> uh, a trail of packages leads you down the right fork of the canyon, and it seems as though you are on the right track. As you carry these packages, your hands quickly become full because you don't have a sled. Uh, you trudge forward through waist deep snow. This is going to be exceptionally <laughs> difficult terrain. In the uh, darkness ahead, a form begins to appear. Everybody give me a perception check. 
Looking at the testing. Dame got a four. Twelve. Yikes. Uh, twelve. Uh, Bad Billy, Prancer, you notice this dark form. Hey, dice give it, dice take it away. Uh, it seems like a large squarish kind of form. Squarish? It could be a rock. Could be SpongeBob. Could be SpongeBob square pants frozen to death. Yeah. <laughs> or it could be a giant chunk of cheese. Could be a large animated object, or I'm sorry, a giant animated object. Maybe yeah. in the form of a player piano, and it's going to music clef note your ass to death. <laughs> I would like, you can say gelatinous cube. Ooh, Ooh. a frozen gelatinous cube. Yeah, it's a frozen popsicle it. cube. Ooh, I just see like and there's like air pockets in it, so there'd be like shards of like ice that's moving. So if you get into it, you're like. Oh, thanks, thanks, Caitlin, for giving him that idea. I like that idea. Let me yeah, go ahead and write that it. one in. I knew it. I knew so, it. do you want to approach this dark form or no? Uh, but I mean, I'm. Maybe... We can. Do we not have a? Well, I mean, we can always say fuck it. Let's go back. <laughs> well, you've all made your con saves, so. Wait, I have my candy cane. Yes, you have three candy canes. Well, this whole time I went to say I've been like sucking on the candy canes. They're little like sharp edges. Oh, very nice. So nice. you're going to wear his, his rings? <laughs> He's going to do Wolverine. That's right. Okay. I've got my candy canes ready. So, okay. Cilia, what do you want to do? There is a, there's a dark squared object in front of us. Is it moving? Oh. Well, we have to go look at it. You are in waist-deep snow, so melee is going to be exceptionally dangerous. Do you approach it? Of course. <laughs> a large wagon-esque form begins to appear, oh. and a leaf elf in a red suit stands atop the snow and brandishes a large mallet, threatening you. Oh, get away from my wagon! Whoa, whoa, mister... We're here to help you. Who be ya? Well, we were sent by Tim Houston. Poor no. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're here from Mayor Kwanza from <laughs> the town right. of Ornament. We heard that you were in trouble, so we are here to help. He lowers his mouth and says, well, why did you start with that? Yeah, dang fools. Because uh, we're dang fools. Fool. As, you, as you guys get closer, you notice the wagon has spikes in the side of it oh, shit. Uh, he yep. announces that he was attacked by manticore uh, above the canyon but he's missing a lot of presents he looks at you guys and notices Are them my presents if you haven't caught on claws is a prospector from the old west oh, no. apparently apparently he asks if those are his presents well, of course uh, yes we of were course. collecting them for you yeah, the ice troll had taken them. Yeah, I lost some in the battle with the mana core, so I appreciate what you've done to help me out this evening. Do you guys need a lift? Yep, we that would work. actually do. We do. We do. Well, get on into the sleigh. Uh, now, there's not going to be a whole lot of room here, so somebody's going to have to sit atop a giant bag of presents at the back. Wait, I can't sit on Santa's lap. You can. But there's only room for kind of two-ish people in the front. I want to sit on your lap, Santa. Cowgirl style! <laughs> uh, of course! <laughs> Google that one, That works. cousin. <laughs> uh, bad Billy or Prancer, who wants to sit on the giant bag of toys or up front? Okay, I will... I will upset. sit on the bag of toys, but I am, I, I, I am like... Hooking a rope around anything I could find. <laughs> if you've seen R.I.P.D., this is Mr. Bridges. <laughs> uh, he pats his lap, Dame Cilia. You hop on, and he goes, hang on, I got to pull the rod. <laughs> yeah. He begins to pull rods, gears, and a brass spindle. Uh, he doesn't have reindeer? 
Holy oh, shit, no, he doesn't. Ranger. He's an artificer. He's an artificer. He made this thing. Oh, what the uh, fuck? He you hear a he's reindeer. He's a vegan. Yeah. Then you how the hell did he get downed? The manacore, manacore. shot up his, his vehicle. Yeah, but now he's okay. Well, he had to fix it. <sighs> if you get a flat tire, do you buy a whole new car? No, yeah. you fix it. Well, uh, if you're Caitlin, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, so uh, you hear a bang. A plume of smoke comes out the rear. Uh, Bad Billy, give me a straight up D20. Let's see if you look like Al Jolson or not. <laughs> uh, Net 20. Does that mean I look like <laughs> Does not look like uh, Jolson. Uh, Prancer. Uh, hang on, Dame. Uh, you'll be hanging on. There's not going to be a problem with you moving off. Uh, the vehicle rumbles, shakes, and rattles, and pew takes off into the sky. Uh, the wind is just beating on your face. Everybody, give me a con save. Great, we're going to have dragon shit for us until <laughs> 10. 19. Uh, ooh, okay, 23. Uh, Bad Billy and Prancer are okay. Dame Cilia, uh, that dragon shit is just cemented into your hair. Uh, Seriously? that shit is not gonna come, yeah, it's not gonna come out, and, uh, Mr. Claus. Maybe he likes it. Yeah, it could be an aphrodisiac, you never know. He's an elf. He's a beardless elf, mm. so that doesn't fit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But uh, he begins to level off this sleigh-looking item, but it's not pulled by any reindeer, magical or otherwise. Uh, and as you are bathed in moonlight, you get a perfect view of uh, Navidad Pass. Uh, and you sail in, and he angles, and you are on the downward slope. So, Bad Billy, give me a dex check. I was about to say, damn it. <laughs> Okay, not too bad. 22. Fair enough. Uh, you hang on. Uh, Claus yells, everybody hang on. He starts his descent and comes screeching into ornament right in the town plaza. We're for coming some, in hot. <laughs> for some reason, there's people everywhere. Apparently, he messaged them and said he was, uh, was going to be en route because that's what he did before he got there. Uh, he comes in. Who wants to roll to see how he lands? No, not me. Let Caitlin roll to see Prancer, how he lands. Prancer, give me a straight-up d20. Let's see how the uh, jolly elf lands this thing. And one and nine. Nine? Oh, yeah. Uh, everybody dex check. Oh, uh, man. Hang on. Oh, yeah. 13. Oh. 21. Not, not, not too bad. 18. Uh, everybody remains uh, firmly planted, especially Dame Cilia, in the uh, sleigh as he uh, makes sure to hit both sides as he careens down in. Uh, he bails. He pushes you off, uh, Dame Cilia. What the hell? Bails out and yells, ho, 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 Claus is here. These individuals have helped me recover all your gifts. Uh, he pushes Bad Billy out of the way and starts winging presents to everybody. Is it paper towel? Yes, it's paper towel. It's paper towel. <laughs> it's paper towel. It's Claus <laughs> Trump. <laughs> uh, a hero's welcome is awaiting the party as you touch down in ornament. Uh, Claus will have sent another message stating that he has been arriving uh, with the rescue party. Uh, Christmas carols fill the air and mugs of spiced ale are handed out to you guys upon arrival. Accolades are given out by the residents as Claus chucks the gifts out to the citizens. Uh, do you guys want to drink the spiced ale or you want to get cleaned up instead? I'd like to get cleaned up. Fair yeah, enough. yeah. if Claus has prestidigitation, we were greatly appreciate it. Claus is busy, man. He's, he's oh. giving gifts. He's making people happy. 
Uh, all right, I I create more towels. <laughs> it's just like let's get some warm water and just get cleaned off. <laughs> Uh, as you guys all get cleaned off, uh, Claus wanders over to you and he points out that you have been good little boy and girls and he has presents for you as well. Uh, you know what? I'm going to ask each of you to roll a d6. No repeats. Mm. Okay. I better get a murder hobo out then. Yeah. I, I rolled wow. a five. I rolled a one. So we were rolling again? D6. Six. So I have a five, a one, and a six. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, damn it. That's wrong. Christ almighty. I mean, that's what today's celebration of. <laughs> Shut up, Caitlin, or I'll kill your. <laughs> I'll kill Not you. really. Uh, who had the one? Me. Bubbles of happiness. When used, the air fills with bubbles that will make everyone in the area happy and non combative if nice. they fail their wisdom save. Mm. Who had five? Five for Billy. Webs balls, usually appearing in groups of threes, this item can be tossed at an opponent and bind them with strong silk, requiring a DC 14 to dodge. Otherwise, nice. they are held for 2d4 rounds. Awesome. Prancer, what was yours? Six. You have gotten the Wonder Woman rope, the golden rope. Yes. This 20-foot item can inch its way up any incline less than 200 feet, Without fear of falling, if used on a person, they are bound unless a strength save of DC 15 is made. Way to go, Wonder Woman. <laughs> Wonder Woman! <laughs> so, nice. boys and girls, this brings us to the end of Navidad. In between. You what? We said boys and girls and all in between. Uh, and all in between. Exactly. What, whoever you are, whatever you do, even if you're a Genasi piece of crap. <laughs> or an Aarakocra. Or an Aarakocra. Or a fucking changeling. <sighs> oh, I'm never going to live that uh, down. <laughs> this brings us to the end of our holiday one shot. Uh, Caitlin, what'd you think? It's fun. I've never played a Genasi, whatever. I'm saying it so wrong. Before. We hope you so never well. play one again. <laughs> I'm kidding. Next I campaign. It's kind of fun. Now I want to know what the other elementals are like. I was fire. just thinking, if I do fire, he's going to be like, it's so cold. Your flame goes out, is what I was thinking. Oh, I would have blown your flame out. Exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, then water, ice. <laughs> water, water would have been an unfortunate choice. Yeah, that would have been really bad choice. Uh, air, air actually turned out to be your best. That choice. was the best choice. And yeah. folks, these uh, these guys did not know where they were going or what they were doing. I had uh, no idea. David, what'd you think? I enjoyed it. I had fun. My phone is like blowing up like crazy from my cussing right now. Urban Dictionary blew waffle, didn't he? <laughs> he probably did. You know, I have a list of things that he can go ahead and check on while he's there. <laughs> God, I don't even know what blue waffle is. What the hell is it? His parents can... Uh, Fake. Fake? It's like, yeah, I mean, it's like an urban legend, but they... It's, you know what? It could be whatever you want it to be. I'm old. I don't know anything anymore. If you uh, I, I will blue waffle female. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dame, uh, Dame Celia, aka Carrie, what'd you think? I had fun. I enjoyed it. I always do. Yeah, <laughs> this, was, this was a good way to spend Christmas Eve. Wow. So. And I always like playing with you guys. Whoa! That's what a blue waffle is. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. With your friend. My yeah, it's not, it's not showing peeps. up. Oh man, folks at home, thanks for joining us. We hope you're having a great holiday season. We hope it continues on. Uh, 
Don't forget, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit with us, join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap, go ahead and do that. Most importantly, if you want to join a one shot, M Hobo Inc. Gmail or Twitter. That being said, Saturday, two days away, Blue Rose by our very own Caitlin. Uh, the party is full, so you can't join that game, but there's. Tuesday between the rolls and more one shots coming. Caitlin, uh, give them a quick preview on what you're going to do to the four poor bastards that are playing on Saturday. Uh, it's going to be fun. And it's more about <laughs> solving riddles. <laughs> that oh, I I'm horrible read. on that. So no, I'm going to roll a character with low intelligence. <laughs> 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 no, <laughs> it's there's tarot cards involved and it's almost like they're alive and who knows if they are or they're not tarot cards are normal in blue rose people just have them so i don't All know right. nailed up to trees it's weird people are missing very bizarre you know on urban dictionary it says don't fucking look it up i'm i'm now i'm kind of scared <laughs> <laughs> kind of scared on that one uh yes caitlin, yeah join us on saturday 8 p.m eastern standard time caitlin's going to be running a group of four uh through blue rose uh mm -hmm. on an offset uh, rpg system it's not D, &D. Uh, it's something different and that will complete our december of variants uh in january uh we're going to do some one shots and we're also going to go ahead and prep for campaign number two uh again for all of us here all of us not on air uh happy holidays merry christmas happy hanukkah happy kwanzaa whatever you celebrate we hope that you're having a good time and we happy hope that you're holidays. doing it safe happy holidays D -A -Z. days d-a-z-y let's give them a big wave and dating game kiss and carrie will go ahead and get us out of here all right merry bye. christmas family merry christmas raiden bye bye don't look that up don't look.